Hello and welcome. The following is a presentation on CWPT, or otherwise known as Classwide Peer Tutoring. Classwide Peer Tutoring was developed by Greenwood, Dolcatre, and Carta in their 1988 book of the same name. Their aim was to create a program that promoted the active engagement of all students equally in the class while still placing an emphasis on academic growth. Students working in pairs would keep active and focused on the subject material, freeing the teacher to provide specific aid to individual students' needs. The program also incorporated consistent feedback and a points reward system so that students would be motivated to meaningfully take part and track their successes as both tutor and tutee. The original application of this strategy was oriented towards mainstream classrooms. Research from the last 20 years has generalized the applicability of class-wide peer tutoring, demonstrating how its benefits help students of various special needs, including ADHD or learning disabilities. Other research over the years corroborated the importance of dedication and that this was the only way to successfully achieve the program's goals. These goals capitalize on the teaching potential students have on one another. By emphasizing peer tutoring rather than direct instruction, students spend more time actively engaged with the learning in pairs. This means one-on-one -on -one time with a tutor addressing their individual academic needs. In addition to the academic gains, students spend a portion of their days building relationships with other students and developing social skills like teamwork, cooperation, and leadership. According to Greenwood, Dualcatre, and Carter's initial research, the program is particularly effective for foundational skills, which depend on experience to cultivate mastery in areas like math and spelling and reading fluency. Subject material that students can discuss and improve on independently requiring limited adult intervention. This time alone is valuable for encouraging learning skills like responsibility, organization, and initiative since student pairs are in charge of their own learning and success. All of these goals can be achieved due to a simple, reliable design that stresses repetition and the value of role-playing as both the supervisory tutor and the dedicated, enthused tutee. These roles are of key significance to the program, which is based on a consistent, dependable, peer tutoring schedule that affords time for all children in the class to act as both the learner and the educator. As the tutor, the student would supervise and contribute to the learning of the 2T as he or she completes the required task. Supervising means answering questions, discussing personal strategies, or maybe rephrasing instruction from the teacher. The 2T role is to complete work and collaborate with the tutor by actively asking questions and interact in the learning process as much as possible. What the 2D puts in will determine what they get out. The role of the teacher. The teacher implements the program and organizes it into a weekly schedule. While it is running, he or she keeps weekly task assessments and anecdotal records of student performance and awards points based for on-task behaviors. The teacher needs to oversee the pair's work time and to ensure they remain focused. Here, overseeing also means providing individualized support to the student area's need during a pass around the room. The peer support system of CWPT addresses many of the challenges students with LD may face. Firstly, the one-on-one -on -one attention they have with their partner keeps them focused. CWPT is based on getting the students involved with the course material and involved with each other. This means that there is less time spent on instruction forms that are hard for students with LDs. Because of this, students with ADHD or LDs are less distracted and perform fewer off-task behaviors. The system also rewards children for positive behaviors without giving them much negative attention for being off-task. Research has shown that this consistency of repetition promotes the development of cognitive abilities, but it also gives children with ADHD and LDs much-needed experience on their learning skills growth. One prominent example of this research was performed by DuPaul, Irvine, Hook, and McGoy in 1988, where they examined the effects of class-wide peer tutoring on 18 students with ADHD in grades 1 through 5 spanning two years. The re their results showed that 50% of either the students with ADHD or those typically developing showed improvements in math and spelling, and these students observed increased motivation towards learning and academics. Some of these advantages can also be detected when working with other groups of exceptional students, such as those with autism or LDs. Lastly, in another study, Burkamp, Camps, and Cooper found that the one-on-one -on -one individualized pace makes it very effective in working with students who have learning disabilities. The LD benefits nicely capture the strengths of the key aspects of the CWPT strategy, highlighting some of the evidence that proves its effectiveness. Overall, 
class-wide peer tutoring is an instructional management strategy that has children actively taking part in the education process, alternating as the teacher and the learner in one-on-one -on -one discussion pairs. The program allows students to spend more time physically engaged with the learning material, gaining valuable practical experiences in foundational curriculum areas. The program is easily adapted to the particular schedule and needs of the classroom and can conveniently work with many different teaching styles, with teachers still finding it effective. In fact, while research has been investigating this strategy for over 20 years, it consistently reports high rates of student and teacher satisfaction. The simplicity and multifaceted advantages make class-wide peer tutoring an effective and versatile strategy for use in any class. This wraps up my discussion of CWPT, and I hope it may be some use to you and in your classroom. Thanks very much for watching.